That's great. Um, are we going to interview the student athletes first? Is that the game plan? Yeah, yeah we'll start there. All right. Ladies, y'all are coming off a uh, school record score, uh, but you have to get focused again for next week. I just want to know what the, your thoughts are. Kennedy, if I could start with you just on what went into last week and how y'all have refocused for this week. This week, we've been focusing on the same things we've been doing this whole season. Um, we try to get a half tenth better on every event and we just try to be consistent and have fun in the gym and just make it the best time. Okay. Well, Sophia, how, how did last week feel doing what you guys did and, and now getting refocused? Um, last week was just an emotional night, um, breaking records and Kennedy, of course, being amazing as always. So that's just so encouraging and um, exciting. And um, after an exciting night like that, we just try to stay in the moment and work on what we can work on day in and day out to just improve a little bit each week. All right. And uh, Kennedy, the bar score was not one of y'all's best. And so at the halfway point of the meet, you probably had a pretty average score. Can you talk about regrouping from that point and finishing the way you guys did? Yeah, so bars may not have been our best score overall, but we were just happy to be back in Barnhill and together. And it didn't take much to have our mind change switch or anything. It felt like we were having a good meet. So we just wanted to keep the momentum going and ramp it up for beam and floor. So I think it wasn't a hard change. Okay. And for you personally, I mean, you've, you've had the capability of scoring what you did, but you put it all together one night and did what you did. How's that feel? It feels really great. Um, it just, I've been working so hard to put everything together. And once I finally did, it was just a really great feeling. And you couldn't tell I got a little overwhelmed, <laughs> but um, it, it was really good. All right. That's what I have for the ladies, if anyone else. For both of you, just riding those emotions that you had post meet to riding them to senior night how much benefit can you take from, from riding those emotions or, or do you have to block all that out and just really focus on the meat as you prepare for Friday? Um, I think we can take in a little bit of the emotions. Of course, you don't want to let it overwhelm you, but just having that feeling going into the meat and throughout the meat, I think it's a good thing to have. Um, but of course you do have to focus a little bit on your gymnastics and I think if you have both at the same time, you're, um, it's gonna turn out well. Yeah, um, like what Kennedy said, um, having too much emotion can just leave you on a high and that can easily waver either way. So it's just important to stay grounded and stay in the moment and remember um, what you're there for and who you're doing it for. So last week, having all of our alumni there, that was so special. And then as well as the frontline workers, just being able to honor and thank them for all of their hard work. And then this week with Women's Empowerment and Senior Night, the, those are the two things that we're focusing on going into this meet. Have you, have you and Sarah and maybe Maggie kind of talked about Friday night and, and what that's going to be like for you, Sophia? Yeah, we keep saying like, oh, this is gonna be like our last time in Barnhill. So I think we're just trying to soak in everything that we can and just appreciate it. Um, stay in the moment and just enjoy the time with the team. I think I'm good. Thank you guys, you guys are good. I actually have one more for oh, Sophia. Ahead. Yeah, Sophia, you've been a part of kind of the rise that you guys are on, you know, for a little longer. Uh, I'm wondering if the score you had the other night was a glimpse into what the, the true high end for this team is because you did not have a great bar score uh, where you guys can shoot for. Yeah, obviously we set a program record and that's so exciting, but the even more exciting part was that wasn't even close to our very best. And so um, whenever we put a whole meet together, start to finish and everyone just builds off one another, that's gonna be truly something special. All right. That's, that's it for me. You guys are good. Thank Bye you. Guys. Thank y'all. All right, time to start. All right, thanks.
Jordan, just predominant thoughts in your mind heading, heading into this after the kind of the big high that you had last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, Sophia and Kennedy touched on, touched on it a little bit, but um, really, really proud of the team's performance on Friday night. Um, bars definitely wasn't our best. We know we have more potential in that event, but I told the team that the, the character they showed coming back on beam as strong as they did, not only from the bar performance, but from last week's beam, um, we were at Kentucky and we were, we were pretty shaky. So I was really, really proud of the way they responded um, on beam, especially. So I think that was, that was huge for them to do. And then to finish on floor with, you know, 49, five, seven, five, that is a huge floor score. I just, we were, we were very proud of the team, very excited. Um, but, you know, although we broke records and some, some really great stuff happened, it's, we got back in the gym and refocused just as we always do. And we're still trying to focus in on the little details. We're still confirming, um, you know, some spots in the lineup here and there and trying to figure out what it's going to look like for postseason. Um, but the great thing is, I think, what I hear from those athletes when they're speaking is that they're starting to each meet they're they're believing in themselves a little bit more and they're starting to see their potential slowly as we build throughout the season. And that's what we've talked about with the team thus far is just we're, we're climbing a mountain and each week we're going to take one more step up the mountain and they've, they've done that every week. So um, it's exciting and I'm just I'm looking forward to getting back in Barnhill on Friday night and doing it all again. You inherited uh, Kennedy after her freshman season. And she's clearly, you know, improved and uh, I don't know, but just, I guess, more um, uh, consistency mm -hmm. in her performance. And then to see it culminate the way it did. And you could tell, you know, she was overwhelmed with emotion after her performance. What did, what did you think of that? Mm -hmm. You know, it's amazing to see. I, I knew she was going to have that moment where it all comes together this year, just because, you know, last year, she was coming off of a shoulder surgery and she probably had about two weeks of training on bars before she was thrown into competition. And so it, it very much, you know, getting ready for season last year looked very different for her than it did for the rest of the team. She had to ramp up very quickly, um, which, you know, when you don't have a full preseason of routines under your belt, it's going to affect your consistency in some way. And so this, she's had a very good preseason um, in the beginning of the season this year, it's, it's allowed her to have more numbers under her belt. Uh, which then shows up in competition. And then the other major thing I've seen with Kennedy is she's developed, um, she's developed a lot more maturity in her training. And even as a human being, um, the way she interacts with her team and her coaches and she, the way she responds to adversity um, is a lot more mature this year. And I think that is allowing her to be more confident on the competition floor because she can look back and say, you know, I have, I have hit, this many routines with stuck dismounts in the gym, I can for sure just take one out of the bank and, and put it up in the competition. So um, I'm really proud of the way she's maturing. She still, she has so much more to do, you know, seeing her put it all together. I hope she realizes that she can do that every time. Um, and that's our, that's our goal for her. She's got another year and a half of, of competition, um, if not more. And um, I'm excited to see, see it come together um, more frequently. Okay, I got a couple more, but wanted to give way to Jason or whoever. I look at Friday night and I look at this, the averages and you and Alabama are close. And I, I just wonder how competitive of a meet this could be when you look, you know, your six, their seven, the averages, their high score, your high score, just how much fun this meet could be and what it could really do for this program, uh, the competition on Friday. Yeah, I think if, if we're on and they're on, it, it's got potential to be a really, really good close meet. And um, that's exciting. I think we have to be able to show up and, um, not make it bigger than it is. And I, I always try to focus the team on not who the, who the opponent is, what color they're wearing or anything else. Just we got to show up and, and be a better version of our team than we were last Friday. Uh, so I'm hoping that's the mindset that our team can show up with. And, um, and if we do that and we show up and, and we, we, we look good, then I think we could, we could really challenge a team like Alabama because they've been looking good all season as well. And I, and I asked the girls this, riding waves of emotion, I think can help you or it can hurt you. I would have a feeling it's gonna help you this week, especially with senior day, kind of being able to have that high and, and riding into that. Do you feel the same way? And, and what could it really do emotionally for your team with, with what you have on Friday night? Yeah, I think any opportunity that we get to compete for 
somebody or something bigger than ourselves is an amazing opportunity. Uh, because at the end of the day, yes, they're college athletes and they're, they're competing for their school and it's, it's a sport. Um, but we have an opportunity, we have a platform to, to transcend sport. And I think last week being able to honor our alumni and honor frontline workers and, and all the heroes that, that have helped us through this pandemic, um, that's a big deal. And, um, you know, thinking about just our team being able to compete on Friday nights and all the people that have, have served our, the community and allowed us to, to get to this place to be, be able to even show up and compete. Um, I think they really had those people in their hearts and in their in their minds uh, throughout the meet and, and that fuels our team. You know, it's always easier to do it when you're doing it for a bigger purpose than just yourself and, and for gymnastics. Um, and I think that they're gonna do the same this Friday. We're gonna be honoring a lot of really empowering women, um, including our seniors. So I'm really looking forward to another opportunity to, to transcend sport um, through gymnastics. And that's, it's a wonderful opportunity. And as you tr continue to build this program, having Sarah, Sophia, and then adding Maggie, what have those three meant to where you are this year and where you're hoping to, to take this program in the future? Mm -hmm. and they, those three athletes, um, Sarah, Sophia, and, and uh, Maggie have all played such an important role in um, the, the building of this program this year um, and in previous years. I mean, obviously, Sarah and Sophia have had incredible careers. Most of it we weren't here for, but just having them the last couple of years, getting to know them as, as people, watching them grow in their leadership, it's just been an honor to be their coaches. Um, and then, you know, bringing Maggie on this year as a transfer and never would have anticipated that she would have um, the type of impact that she's having. We knew she was gonna come in and be amazing, but um, not to the extent that she is proving to be. So I'm really excited to honor them. Um, you know, they all have an opportunity to come back for another year, but none of them have made a final decision. Um, but we're gonna honor them as if this is their last time in Barnhill, just because anything could happen. Um, and I'm just, I'm so proud of all they've accomplished. They still have, um, you know, the rest of the season to accomplish even more that we know they can but I'm very um, grateful for the imprint they are leaving on this program and their legacies as individuals. I think they're all very different, but um, they're all leaving a little piece of their legacy that is so important for the future of Arkansas gymnastics. Tom, back to you. Yeah, uh, Jordan, what's the upper reaches for your team? Do you, you know, do you calculate, hey, we could score 197.6, 197.7. Well, what can y'all hit? It's exciting to think about, you know, I look at our performance on last Friday and you add another three tenths back to our bar score potentially. And um, that's a pretty big number. It's, you know, mid, mid to high 197. And um, that's where we know this team can, can reach and perform. I think, you know, we have yet to put a full meet together with all four events to our potential. That's, that's what we know our team can do, but we have, have yet to do it. And um, I think we're on this steady incline. So I, we are definitely getting there. I'm hoping it could be this Friday. They put it all together. Um, but in terms of scores, I, it's exciting to think about. Uh, we got to be able to show up and, and do it when it counts the most, um, because we obviously see it in the gym every day. And we've seen little sparks of it throughout the season on one event or another. Um, I think our vault team is finally hitting their potential. Uh, with 49.35, hopefully we can get to 49.4. Um, you know, soon here, if we can clean up some landings from what we had last Friday, but I think floor, that was definitely, that was our potential right there. And we got to keep doing that and be consistent on that event. And then beam hitting 49.4 was a big deal as well. So if we can clean up some landings on vault and it hit a good bar uh, lineup, then um, it's exciting to think about where this team could go. Okay. Hey, so NQS starts next week. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. There were some scoring decisions that I, I didn't understand. A couple of three from the other night. Uh, I think Maggie O'Hara, particularly on beam, is there, what did I miss off of her beam routine? It's hard to say. Um, it really depends on the judges. Um, you know, I, I keep telling her it, it really, it, it, her spot in the lineup is tricky. She's third. Moving her later in the lineup might help her with by a half tenth. It might not, um, but she's you know with her routine, a judge can take half tenth somewhere, and then some judges um, can choose not to. But I I just I keep refocusing her on just keep doing what you're doing, um, just keep following your plan and getting those half tenths better each week, and not overthinking one one score on one weekend. Um, you know, usually with situations like that where we feel passionate, the score is about a half tenth low. 
we give it another week. And if it continues, then we put in a routine summary and figure out exactly what the judges are deducting and um, try to make some adjustments from there. But we don't want to make it a, a super big deal if it doesn't have to be, because at the end of the day, we're a subjective sport and we have human error and human beings judging our routines. So um, we just have to continue doing our jobs. And you know, if it becomes a a week to week thing, then we then we look into it pretty significantly and figure out what to what to adjust. Uh, the broadcasting team speculated that Kennedy's vault could have been a 10. I, what, what did you see from it? I, I thought it, you know, it could have gone either way. Um, I thought 9975 was was a pretty awesome and, and accurate score. She she pulls to the to the side a little bit, um, which could have been where the 995 came from, but it was exciting. It came at the end of a really fantastic vault lineup and we have yet to see a 10 in Barnhill Arena. And I think that would be um, another piece of history that I know this team can accomplish, whether it be Kennedy on vault or a num any of them on floor really, um, or even on beam too. So I, I think that is in the future, just it's a matter of when it'll all come together. But um, I thought Kennedy's vault was exciting and a 9975 is not a bad score, I'll say. Yep. Well, thanks, Jordan. That's, that's it for me today.